Hello, National Arts Magazine. How's everybody doing today? My name is Executive Chef Lee Morris. We're coming to you from the Palm Restaurant here in the kitchen, where pretty much everything happens on a day-to-day -day basis. We're going to be making a nice wasabi and panko crusted tuna with cucumber uh, and soy dressing. Um, we're just going to go ahead and make it and take it right to the plate today. We're going to start with some beautiful fresh ahi tuna, number one tuna. Tuna comes to us fresh every day. What you're looking for in the tuna in the grocery store is nice ruby red color and no um, any white sinew. You want nice, solid, uh, very fresh pieces of tuna. Starting out with a four ounce piece of tuna that we're just going to take from our plate here. We're going to take it right over and season it with a little bit of salt and pepper. Very important to season everything. After you've seasoned your piece of fish, we're just gonna put it in just a little bit of flour. From the flour, we're gonna go into egg wash. Egg wash is a mixture of eggs and milk, just lightly dusted in egg to get the panko to stick. And from there, we're just gonna dust lightly with wasabi, sesame seeds, panko breadcrumbs, and a little bit of chopped fresh Italian parsley. Now that we have our tuna nice and crusted in our uh, fresh wasabi breadcrumbs, nice piece, you can see it's nice and coated, everything's sticking, you have full coverage on your tuna, we're ready to go to a saute pan. Nice saute pan, nice and hot. We're going to be cooking in just regular uh, cooking oil, a mixture of canola oil and extra virgin olive oil. You want to make sure your pan is nice and hot. You don't want to put tuna into a cold pan. What will happen is the uh, breadcrumbs will end up absorbing your oil. That's not what you want. You want a nice sear on your breadcrumbs. A good way to find out if your oil is hot is just take a little bit of breadcrumbs, drop it in your oil, you can see it start to sizzle, you're ready to go. If not, don't point at it, you can raise your heat a little bit and you'll be able to see if your oil is hot enough. Now once we drop this tuna into the pan, it's going to cook very, very quickly. We want to brown the tuna on all sides just to make sure we're, we're not going to want to cook the tuna all the way through. We want to still keep it rare, but we do want to cook off the flour and the egg and the breadcrumbs on the outside. Just one small little test. Okay, looks like we're ready to go. You can see nice bubbles in your saute pan. You want to lay it down facing away from you so it doesn't splash and burn you on the outside. Now something common is to want to move the, the fish around a little bit. Just go ahead and let it sit in the saute pan and brown nicely. You're going to see uh, your tuna starting to cook on the outside. Maybe just a small little turn to make sure you're browning evenly. And we'll go ahead and give it a quarter turn. Nice, even brown, golden brown, looks great. You are starting to see your sesame seeds toast and your parsley start to get a little bit of color on it. We'll go ahead and flip it. We're going to keep this piece of tuna nice and rare to medium rare. Our tuna is all cooked, nice seasoned, great golden brown on it. We're going to go ahead and assemble the salad. It's a nice clean bowl. The nice part about this salad is that you can um, interact these ingredients with anything that you want at the house. Anything at the local farmer's market is fine. Here at the restaurant, we use nice fresh sliced cucumbers, diced red peppers, a daikon sprout, but you can use any sort of sprout, or you can even substitute it for uh, a mescula mix, arugula, anything that you can find at the grocery store that's nice, nice and green. A little bit of sliced red onion, just a little bit. A little too much can be just somewhat offensive. Black and white sesame seeds. Now for the dressing, what we have here is a hoisin and plum barbecue sauce. It's mixed with a little fresh orange juice, chopped garlic, and chopped ginger. Get all your ingredients nice and mixed. You want that dressing. It is a little thick, so you want to make sure everything is dressed nicely and evenly. Okay. We've taken a little bit of the dressing already and just painted the plate with it. You can do this in any fashion. At the restaurant we use a squirt bottle, but at home you can use a, a spoon or anything that you may have in the house, a pastry bag with a piping tip gets it on the plate just fine. 
we're going to want to cut our tuna in half and present it so the guest gets to see a nice piece of rare tuna. And we'll finish off the plate with just a little bit of parsley. There you have it. Enjoy.